everyone, welcome to the house station, a place for all how to's and DIYs. Well, I try very hard to keep myself organized, but sometimes, no matter how hard I try, I turn into a complete mess. For example, I bought this basket to keep all my products, but what happens is this. I try to take one product out and everything just falls down. And the smaller ones, they just don't stand properly, making my basket a complete mess and completely unorganized. So what I did is I made a simple cardboard compartment for my basket. This cardboard compartment holds my products all well. No matter how hard I shake it, they're all secured in the compartment and I can easily take off any product and put it back in without the others falling and making my basket really nice and organized and mess free. So if you want to see how I made this very simple cardboard compartment, then please keep watching the video. I'm going to create a base for the compartment. My basket is 25 centimeters into 20 centimeters, so I'm going to make the base 20 centimeters into 14 centimeters. Then I'll leave some distance and then I'll cut it. Now that I have the base ready and I have this extra piece over here, I'll use this for the front. So the width will be 20 cm to match the base and I'm going to keep the height 6 cm. Then I'll make the back. The width will again be 20 cm and the height let's go for 10 cm. Now I'll make the sides. Now for this I'll keep the width 14 cm and for the height I'll place the back and mark a line and then I'll place the front piece and mark another line and then I'll join them both to create a slanting line. Then I'll cut this and I'll cut one more piece similar to this one so that I have two sides. Now I have two sides, one back, one front and one base. Now I have left a little distance from all sides and made a rectangle in the center that measures 20 cm into 14 cm. Remember we had left some space while cutting the base so that is going to be used for folding. So now that I have marked the lines and made a rectangle, I will cut slits along this and cut off the corners. Then I'll turn the cardboard and mark the rectangle in front as well and then I'll start making the compartments. Now I know the approximate size of my products but if you aren't aware it's better to measure them first so that they fit well. So according to the size, size of my products I'll mark 8 compartments. Then I'll fold the sides where I had made the slits and I'll make walls for the compartments. So I'll measure the size of each compartment and accordingly cut pieces of cardboard. Once I have all the walls done, I'll start to stick them on the base one by one. So this is what it'll look like when all the walls are stuck. 
then i'll fold the slits and stick them properly and then i'll stick the back the front and the sides and when everything is stuck this is how it will look and i have applied some cello tape to secure it and then i'll put the compartment in the basket and arrange all my products in it so that was my cardboard compartment it's a little bit time consuming but it's very easy to make and once you make it you'll have it for a long time to keep yourself mess free and organized i hope you all enjoyed watching the video if you all did don't forget to give the video a big fat thumbs up and tell me in the comments down below on how you thought the video was if there are any other suggestions creations how tos diys feedbacks or anything else that you would like to share with me please do tell me that as well in the comments down below and please do subscribe to the house station for some more easy inexpensive how tos and diys on every sunday i'll see you guys in my next video bye